Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at TechTrader.com. It's Thursday, the 18th of October. Not a good day on Wall Street, folks. We gave back a chunk of the rally and um, we're retesting at the very least. Um, I'm still of the opinion we have a, a year-end rally coming, but um, I'm really worried about the market going forward over the next few months. So let's just keep it on the defensive. Day trade like we've been doing. We've had some great stocks the last few days. And See if we can come up some more for you. But looking at the long and short side today, starting with Amaris, just impressed with the way that stock acted all day today. Look at this. While the market was getting pounded, the stock ran up and coiled all day and held. Very impressive stuff. Uh, but on a daily chart, you can see there's key support in, in here. So yesterday's low at the 715 area and the prior low here at 708. This 710 15 area is key support. You can stop under that. I'd like to get it above the moving average. Once it gets above 8, 10, 15 range, we should see a test of 9 and a quarter, then run it up to 10 and 3 quarters and 12. Those are my targets on Amherst. Uh, DWT, well, with oil, looks to me like it's turned and turned south for maybe for a while. Even OPEC today said they expect oil to be down in the next few months. As a result, you can see that the DWT and the SCO I'm only going to show you the DWT here. It's had a nice pop. It's at the declining top line. It's at the 50 period moving average. It's near lateral resistance. Your next target is about six and a half, three quarters. And then I'm looking for that stock to make it up to eight and nine and three quarters eventually. But keep an eye on this one. This may be coming out of a major two year downtrend. LABD, well, with biotechs turning down and the market you know, getting ugly, you can see this broke its major declining channel. Popped up, pulled back to support. Right now, you're looking at the 30, excuse me, 28 and a half is a real key area for you. 28, uh, eight, eight and a half, with resistance at about 35, and then 37. My target is 37 and 42, 43 going forward. NBEV, well, marijuana related stocks, this one's held up pretty well, but you need to have a stop under 545 in that area. I know it's a long, well, it's about a dollar from here, but this is a wedge and we're near the apex and the volume's long. With underlying technicals looking this good, this may not be done yet. And if it breaks this wedge, you're gonna fly. Keep an eye on it for a day trade or a swing trade going forward. PTI, well, what's to say about this one? What a great trading day. If we're looking at the one minute, let's look at a two minute chart. And the stock popped, consolidated, and I think the key on this one was today, it was right there. When it broke to that level and just started to run, it exploded. Back and filled for a couple, three hours, and then broke out again after hours it reached 11. It's settled in around 10, 10, 15. Net net, it's actually down a few cents from the close of 10.35, but I gotta tell you, this looks real good. And a day like this, with volume like that, historic volume off, 94 million shares, you don't necessarily see a one-day wonder, especially with the close near the high. So I would look for momentum to carry this to 14, maybe 18, but at the same time, it could turn at any moment, be careful. Reggie, well, this is one of the stronger looking stocks on the board, but in this kind of a market, nothing but new highs. Looking at this chart now, it looks to me like that's the angle of ascent. After running up to the top of the channel and going sideways for a month or two, and it had a big test right here. Holding the 25 range, that's my stop. I know it's a long way from here. Um, but uh, And it has been up for six days in a row, so it might back and fill, but it looks to me like it's headed for the mid-30s. The TBIX and the UVXY, we'll get to that in a moment. Both of these have the following patterns. Long downtrends, explosive moves to the upside, a three, four day pullback that held double Bottom right there, this is your stopping point if this should get on the 36. And anything that tomorrow gets over 45, and this could rip the 50, 52, my near-term target. The UVXY similarly broke out, the moving averages have crossed over, it had a spike up from 35 to 63, and then pulled back for a week. Finding support at the prior high, around 47, double bottom there, that's your stop. Watch this one tomorrow if it gets above 56, 56 and a quarter, it may run to 62, 63, eventually 69 if it does make that zone. That's big resistance. And Yeko, well, what can I say about this one? Yesterday's runner, which exploded from under two to 13 and change, backed off to eight and a half, and then ripped as high as 1787. Actually, you get to 1787 first, and then it came down before bouncing. Kind of dangerous, up quite a bit. Lime's still heavy, but it may get in the back and fill zone. If momentum does carry it forward, my target is a max of 24. I don't know if it gets there, but I just wanted to give you that heads up. I've listed some boxes shorts to consider going forward. 
AAX in swing short, double top, breakdown, snap back, right to resistance and the declining top line, which I will put right there. You can see resistance there. We had up to it at about 62 and three quarters and backed off 339 or 5.5% today. Um, I'm still looking for this stock to make a run at this gap down around 50. That's my target going forward. ADNT, just an example of some of the auto parts stocks that have just gotten decimated. This one's gone from 88 to 29, down another dollar two today at 3.3%. And you can tell me where the bottom is on this one. Good luck. It's made a new all time low today. It's absolutely decimated and extremely oversold. I wouldn't be aggressively shorting it here, but it does have downside momentum. ATHM, um, you can see the top pattern, the breakdown, the wedge, and then the breakdown of that. A little mini wedge in here, and today it broke that. Got another 451 or six and a half percent today. This one feels like fall away time. Low 50s is my target. BBSI. Breakdown, wedge. That's a bear wedge, folks. Another breakdown, another bear wedge. It looks like it's falling down again. Today it was down 257 or 4 percent. Immediate target 57, secondary target 50. BLD has absolutely gotten thrashed. This building material group is just devastated. And you can see that that indication of a breakdown snapback to the moving edge and the trend line rolled over. And that's, that was your break. Right there is where that stock could have been shorted ideally on the 72. And sure enough, within two months, it's trading at 45. It's oversold steeply so. I'm not sure where the downside is, and I, but I would be beginning to cover my short if I'm long this type of stock. Not a time to be aggressively shorting it. Not after that kind of a drop. But if it does set up another consolidation like there or there, maybe. Clovis just you know, it's been completely devastated from this high up here a uh, year and year and three, four months ago, near 100. It's gotten down to 26. How about losing three quarters of its value? And can keep every time it stares, it stair steps its way down in a rising wedge, a flag, a wedge, a larger one, a mini one. And at this point, though, I'm looking at Clovis as at major key long term support. It might be an interesting buy here. The spike off the low with volume would uh, get me interested. But I wouldn't go long until I see 35 or better. CPRT. Well, this is a box of swing short, and you can see why. It broke its major trend line with a breakaway gap. It snapped back and then rolled over from the flag. That's where I gave it to you short. Hasn't really gone down that much. It dropped another dollar 23 today, but to me, I'm looking at 45.6, and then I'm looking at 39.40. Nasty looking chart, and that's a breakdown if I've ever seen one. DQ gave you a short in the high 30s, it's now in the mid 20s. Uh, this Chinese semiconductor stock probably has more downside. I would look at 18 and a half. EDIT, after breaking down from the wedge and rolling over from 34 to 25, it then snapped back to resistance. And that's a negative engulfing reversal bar today. Um, easy. If you're short, stay short. My target is 23. IBP, yet another building materials manufacturer. I want to show you that one too. Broke down, snapped back at a rising wedge, and then just got crushed. From 65 to 31 in about three months. Oversold, indeed. And that support. I and IIN, which I gave you recently, because I saw this head and shoulders, it's broken down and it's wedging. This stock looks lower to me. Uh, would be surprised to see 37 and even 30 on this one. Nutanix, as much as I like this stock, it broke its pattern, out. Bear flag, lower. At this point, it did wrap a snap back. And what looks like a rising wedge, and I'd be really careful with this one. Mm -hmm. Technicals don't look good. I'd look for a move down to 3031. PII Polaris at 91, 81 down 241. This one's rolled over and it's taken out secondary support. I have a target all the way down to 7980, folks. Red Hat, after it came down and formed that big wedge, it then dropped. I showed you that bear flag. This is a box of swing short. It should be. At 137. 117 lost 20 pick pick points and bounced. I don't think it's done yet. Quite frankly, this has got a lot of room to drop if that's just a one, two, three. I may need to have a fourth wave in here that extends for a bit before it rolls over. SEDG, topping pattern, breakdown, wedge. That's where it was swing short from 49. It dropped to 37. It bounced to resistance right there. Um, and there's a moving average there as well. If it rolls over, we're looking at 31.2. Scientific game is getting decimated after breaking the trend line and forming a little bear flag. It came down and formed another one. It came down from the bear wedge. It just looks like another wedge is forming. 
Uh, I don't know where the downside is, but I can tell you the next targets. It's 20 and 16. Trex, more building material product manufacturers getting hammered. Another one. From 90 plus to 61, and that didn't take long. Long-term trend line comes in right about here. So we're pretty much at that, and I wouldn't be aggressively shorting it. However, my target is down here near 52. Should it bounce at all? U U.S. Concrete, yet another building materials manufacturer, which I indicated to you months ago, looked pretty nasty. Especially if you break down below a support level and form a wedge. Look at that rollover. Another wedge, and then a nasty decline. Taking this one from 55 to 31, and I mean fast. A little bit extended, yeah, to the downside. VICR, beautiful chart. This was a swing trade along. It went up beautifully, but then it, when it broke, it broke hard. It bounced sharply, I believe, on earnings, but then it's come down hard today, 358 or 8.3%. Doesn't look good. Looking for more downside, 33 target. And finally, Weight Watchers, still falling on its own weight, so to speak. Forgive the pun, but there's another bear wedge forming there, or bear flag. Whatever it is, it's negative. The bottom line is that it doesn't look done to me. With these technicals, I would not be surprised to see a run to 57, 58 for starters. That's it for me on the long and short side today. It's a nasty looking market. Protect yourselves, folks. HB out.